Hello chaps, and welcome to part 16. Uh, in this part, we will be making our game. The example game. To an, an executable file. So here we are, finally, gonna make a tutorial on how to make the game a separate executable file. Which means, you can send it to other people, with uh, who don't have the love engine installed but they can still play it and it looks more professional and awesome so uh, first of all open the game remove player.bot we won't need that anymore it's just taking up space open conf.lua and remove the console thing Write false instead of true there. Then select all of this, all of the folders and files inside your game directory, send to compressed zip folder. Name it whatever you want, but it always has to have the extension .lov. Yes. Try to run it just to see if it works. Yep, it works. Uh, drag it to the desktop or whatever. I like to have it on the desktop. Uh, open the love engine directory, which we had on C program files love, and uh, make a folder where your game will have its home, where the game will be. Let's call it uh, example game. Open it. Copy all the DLL files. Uh, the game will need the DLL files to be able to run as an executable file. Here we go. Exit the, the game folder. And open CMD. To open CMD, I just search for CMD on the start menu and it pops up when I pre press enter. You can always press the run button and write CMD in there and then press OK. It's the same deal. Just get here and from here you type copy slash B yes it's slash B your uh, the engine X and write plus drag the love dot love file into the CMD space and the name of the game Example game.exe. Press enter. It's copied. Uh, the .exe file, you can't see it here, it didn't go to the desktop here. So, where the hell did, did it go? I can tell you that it went to. Yes, users slash your username. Um, so, open your. So, open your username folder and just drag it out of there down to the desk top uh, drag it inside the game folder where you had all the DLLs and here we are it's complete uh, notice that it's still using the love engine icon uh, there are programs to change the icon and change the file description and everything that pops up here but uh, that's another tutorial uh, you, you can just google it change the icon of an executable file. Try to run it and it works. This will work on all Windows PC as long as it has, as it has, as it has uh, the same bit in the operational system. For example, I, um, I made the X on a 64-bit computer right now. That means that it might not work on 32-bit computer. So, that uh, this executable file mo might not work on, on 64 no 32-bit computers. If you want to be sure that it works on 32-bit uh, computers, you have to find a 32-bit computer and do the same process on that computer. That way you will have a 64-bit executable file and a 32-bit ex executable file. But I haven't experienced any problems so far and people normally don't have 32-bit anymore. But some do. 
So uh, the game is basically done here. You can release it like this. I like to just keep the love icon there. Just to support the awesome people that made the love engine. And uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Where we will be doing something awesome. See ya.